The next presentation is from Jess Haynes from the Department of Family Relations and Applied Nutrition from the University of Guelph. Jess's research bridges epidemiologic research on the determinants of child health behavior with effective and scalable family-based health promotion interventions. She prioritizes an integrated knowledge translation, IKT, approach that engages key knowledgeable users in the research process and works to mobilize results to affect real lasting change to benefit the health of the families and their children. Ensuring our growing population has adequate nutritious foods while also preserving our planet is one of the most pressing challenges facing our world today. While well, addressing this challenge will require substantial changes to the way our food is produced, stored, and distributed, we will also have to figure out how to support consumers to eat a more nutritious and sustainable diet. As this figure from Eat Lancet Commission shows, our current eating patterns are far from where we need them to be in order to support our own health and the health of our planet. And this is particularly true in North America, where we consume far too many animal-based proteins and too few plant-based proteins and fruits and vegetables. We are also throwing away too much food. Approximately one third of the food produced in the world is lost or wasted. In low-income countries, most of, much of this food waste occurs at the production stage of our food supply chain. Whereas in high income countries, substantial waste occurs at the consumer level. Close to 50% of the food waste in Canada happens at the household level. I collaborated with food waste as experts at the University of Guelph to conduct one of the most detailed studies looking at household food waste. We collected all um, waste from about 100 households in Guelph over a four week period. Our team then separated out and weighed all the food waste by various food categories. This is a picture of us um, at the waste audit and you will see that we are smiling. Um, this is because the food waste audits are not near as messy or as gross as you might expect. Our household waste audits identified that households throw away on average about three kilograms of avoidable food waste each week. This translates into about $18 worth of food each week and about 23 grams of carbon dioxide was required to produce the food thrown out each week. This waste also translates into nearly 3,400 3, calories um, being thrown out each week. As a nutrition researcher, I'm also interested in the quality of the calories that are thrown out. As you can see in this figure, over 60% of the foods that families throw out are fruits and vegetables. These results got us thinking about what, whether we can improve diet quality by reducing food waste. And if so, how should we do that? So our team created a cookbook called Rock What You Got. This is a cookbook and resource focused on helping families reduce their household food waste while also increasing their intake of fruits and vegetables. The cookbook includes helpful tips to reduce food waste, including tips on meal planning and storing food properly. The cookbook also includes uh, 30 recipes that focus on using up leftovers and on using up fruits and vegetables before they spoil. The cookbook has been a big success with over 10,000 downloads. And while we're excited about the reach of our, uh, of our cookbook, an important empirical question remains, which is, does the cookbook actually reduce household food waste? To answer that question, we created an intervention study called the Weeknight Supper Savers. The objective of the study is to test whether this cookbook, along with other resources for families, can reduce food waste and improve fruit and vegetable intake among families. And we're currently testing this uh, intervention among families in the Guelph area. In the intervention, families receive the Rock What You Got cookbook, as well as a weeknight supper savers toolkit, which is pictured here. And this includes materials to help families with meal planning, improve storage of food, and minimizing food waste. Families also participated in a cooking class. 
Originally, uh, we had planned that families would attend an in-person class at a local community kitchen. However, due to COVID-19, we had to transition to an online cooking class. Um, and this here is a picture of Kim, uh, a local chef who led our online cooking classes with families, where families prepared one of the recipes from the Rock What You Got cookbook. We chose to include families who have children aged nine to 12 years so that children could engage and be involved in the activities around reducing food waste and meal preparation. Here's a picture of one of our participants who prepared the recipe during our cooking class almost entirely independently and was very proud to share with us these pictures um, of the meal he created. We just finished our intervention at the beginning of November and we're currently conducting our follow-up assessment, which includes a detailed waste audit to assess change in level of household food waste, as well as surveys from parents and their children to assess change in dietary intake and food waste behaviors. Our results will provide helpful guidance on what we can do to support families to reduce food waste. Supporting Canadian families to select and consume more nutritious and sustainably uh, produced foods, while at the same time reducing the amount of food they waste is a key focus of our work. And this growing population has adequate nutritious foods, while at the same time we can pre um, preserve our planet for future generations. Thank you so much for listening.